Hello, everybody, and good day. Uh, it is uh, the 5th of February, right? No, excuse me, 4th of February, right after the Super Bowl. What an exciting boredom, but that's okay, too. I'm doing a what's in your bag uh, video. I talked about the big three a few days ago, but now I'm going to talk about what I'm going to carry on the trail complete listing. Number one, I leave April 1st, 2019. I will be uh, wearing uh, on my way out of the trail my outdoor research hat. I know everybody has seen this before when I'm walking around. However, I haven't talked about it. The reason I picked the outdoor uh, research hat is it had the widest brim of any hat I could find. Uh, walking through the desert section, I think uh, the sun is going to be nasty on people. And so therefore, I found the best hat I could. Second, I'll be wearing a Columbia style shirt. This shirt here is long sleeved. It has a nice vented back and I'll be wearing this shirt. So look for me in this shirt. I have these uh, Piranha Mojo pants. This is what I'll also be wearing in the beginning to protect my legs from the heat and sun because, well, I'm white and I will burn. Uh, have myself a nice long sleeve uh, smart wool shirt. And with this, it will be uh, underneath or just carried as an extra shirt. Who knows how long I'm gonna hang on to the uh, Columbia shirt before maybe I don't need it anymore. Uh, some smart wool underwear. Yes, this is a catchy color. I have my uh, Activa uh, ice gloves from Outdoor Research uh, to protect my hands. Yep, darn tough socks. I'm bringing a pair of uh, regular gloves. I don't know what the temperature will truly be like. And yes, I have Dirty Girl, Dirty Girl Gators. So that's the clothes I'm gonna be wearing. And now my shoes. This is a, a tough one, but I've decided I'm going to be wearing the Las Sportivas. Uh, they're a trail running shoe. They're real nice. This is my second pair that I have. I'm currently walking in uh, my first pair to make sure that they, one, uh, do exactly what I want to, and second, uh, that any changes that need to be made, I'll make them. But the second pair here is so that while I'm out on the trail, I won't have any problems uh, with my shoes because I've already put 400, 500 miles on the pair that I'm walking with now. They're running, uh, wa running. They're walking great. So we'll see. We'll talk about what's in the bag. Important things here, what's in the bag is, on the outside I have my trekking poles. Nice thing about trekking poles is, that they're a great uh, aid to help you going up or down hills. Secondary, I ch chose the uh, black diamond trekking poles. They're ergonomic cork handles, real nice. Listen to a lot of videos, watch everybody, and they tell you, hey, throw your tape on your trekking pole. So what I did was I added some clear Gorilla tape, some T-Rex tape, and Luco tape so that I could take care of any problems with my feet, cuts, abrasions, anything. Uh, the clear tape is usually used on uh, like your tent. You clean up the spot with an alcohol prep and then you can uh, go ahead and seal it up uh, with the clear tape, the black tape, be more for gear, just miscellaneous stuff. But the trekking poles are super cool. Um, I like them a whole bunch. I'll tell you a little bit more about the trekking poles in a couple seconds. But let's just see what's inside the bag. Once I've already explained, I'm using the Droider Futura Vario 50 Plus 10 bag. Um, I like it a lot. Now, this is something I have not seen anybody carrying, and I'm truly excited to be the one who debuts this to everyone. It is a piece of sham wow. That's right, sham wow. I got this uh, little uh, sample of ShamWow 
at one of the hardware stores and I thought, wow, this would be super great to uh, wipe my tent down uh, for any condensation or any like dew or rain that uh, gets on the fly uh, so that I can get it off, not uh, pack uh, that extra little bit of weight or keeping my gear wet. So ShamWow, they soak up moisture really great. They squeeze out terrific. Secret right here, everybody should have a ShamWow. Next, I'm not gonna open it up, but we're gonna tell you, it is the Salsa 30, or minus one degree Celsius. Now this bag is spoon shaped. It's made with 650, it's uh, treated down, and uh, they call it down tech. In other words, it's treated to av uh, avoid moisture. So I have that right there. Next item that I'm carrying is my footprint for my tent. And we'll get to the tent in just a second, but the footprint. If I want a cowboy camp, I can use this item uh, just to put straight out or I can uh, still use it to protect my tent, protect my uh, air mattress, all those fun things. Oh yes, the Big Agnes Pump House. This is amazing. When you want to fill up your air mattress, you huff, you puff, you think you're the big bag wolf uh, trying to get into the piggies homes. But with this here, all you have to do is fluff it a few times, blow in it, and as you compress it down, there's just a ton of air in here. Using the valve onto your uh, air mattress, it's only about three, maybe four uh, puffs of air that you compress to uh, inflate your tent incredibly fast. Now, I've also been thinking about not using uh, my stuff sack and stuffing it inside the pump house. Perfectly acceptable to do. I just right now didn't want to do that. It's all cool. Next, my comfort item, or one of them, is my Climate Pillow. This thing is huge, and it fluffs up to being something huge. It's uh, quilted on the outside, air on the inside, a uh, nice, big, thick, he heavy bladder. I anticipate no problems with this. This is a nice tool, tool, comfort item. I have the Big Agnes AXL regular uh, short, uh, regular, yeah, regular uh, sleeping pad. Uh, it inflates nice, it deflates nice. Really excellent for its size and what it does. Let's get inside the bag here just a little bit. First things first, kind of had my small bag of utility items. In this little bag, I have what I think I need the most while on the trail. One stupid little mirror, weighs less than an ounce. It magnifies by uh, five or ten times, so if I need anything, I've got it. Fingernail clippers. I need to make sure that I keep all my nails, uh, both on my uh, hooves and paws, uh, properly trimmed so that... Uh, I will be able to just stay a little cleaner. Now this is a small knife sharpening file, but it works excellent as a uh, fingernail file. If I choose to keep this, I'll let you know. But right now, I have the Czechoslovakian and Crystal fingernail file. Now this little thing here, it's extra fine, so it just takes the slightest bit of your nail off while you're filing. And to keep your feet uh, in perfect working order, this is a great tool. Have a small pocket uh, or a travel toothbrush. Some people say, hey, lose the cap. I don't think that gr few grams is gonna make any difference for me, so we'll see what happens. Next, Harm & Hammer. This stuff tastes great, so I'm taking it. Just the smallest of travel tubes. I bought those uh, to help me out uh, for the trail. I figure I'll go through about one a month. I have about 10 of them, so no problem. Dental floss. 
Excellent. Now, a lot of people tell me, no, Bob, don't carry any shampoo. Well, one ounce of shampoo is not going to hurt. And uh, we'll just say I have sensitive hair and that's all there is to it. Medications, my God. No, I'm not on any medications regularly. But as needed, I do want to take a few uh, things. Uh, one of them would be hydrocodone. Uh, I've got some of that in five milligram with 325 milligrams. Uh, the type of pill is marked. I've got Motrin, 800 milligrams. I've got some iron. I've got uh, some Zantac in case uh, the, my diet is not so good on the trail. Just, you know, a little Mega Red just for joint care. So these are the items that I keep in this little bag. Ah, yes, my ever new teapot. Now, the ever new teapot is something that I personally like because of its shape. One, it kind of gets a little wider at the bottom, so when the uh, stove hits it on the bottom, there's a little bit more surface area to absorb uh, the heat. Second, inside here, my bandana, my fuel canister, small scrub pad, yes, my wife was incredibly angry when she saw that I cut one of her scrubbing pads in half, and I got an old uh, eyedropper from some sailing that I picked up at the Dollar Tree store, uh, took a hot safety pin, punched it through the uh, uh, top of the hole to widen it a little bit and I filled it up with some Dawn detergent. Then I've got the uh, Pocket Rocket uh, Mountain Safety Research Pocket Rocket, uh, a small sparker to light the fire. But I also know that whenever you go into the woods, carry a damn big lighter. It doesn't have to be big, but carry one anyway. What's real nice about this pot is it's 800 milliliters it uh, is titanium, super cool. When the top goes on, it's pretty tight and it has a little pour spout so you can just pour the water slowly without spilling. Rubber dice handle so nothing happens to you that way. Okay, see the Summit Cup. This thing here is insulated. It's got a nice lid. I saw a review on this uh, before I bought it, and the guy said, well, you know, every time he drinks, he dribbles down his chin and onto his shirt. I think he probably has a hole in his lip, but that doesn't matter. Inside here, which is uh, packed a little extra, I've got some uh, raw sugar. I've got some tea bags. I like hot tea, so I th figured uh, as a luxury item and something that I would enjoy, uh, tea's it. <laughs> Tell you a story about a friend of mine we went uh, to Alaska, we were backpacking, uh, not really backpacking, more like car camping for uh, 30 days we were up there. And he had this really nice cup and he put it on his uh, stove and heated up his coffee. Then he took this cup and he went, and he had a smile burnt into his bottom lip that stayed there for about three weeks. I laughed, my, I laughed just for days every time we looked at him uh, and saw this, you're going, God, that must have hurt. And it did. Ah, oh, critter bag. Now, this bag here is made out of Kevlar and it's a little heavier than what a lot of the people use uh, on the trail uh, for their uh, food. But I watched some videos on this where the critter bag actually kept uh, a bear out of it. Now, this is not intended to be a bear bag, but uh, with the Velcro, how it closes so tight, it'll keep mice from uh, chewing through this. They won't be able to get through the lid at all. This is a great item. Not that I'm carrying this, but just to show you that I do have something for the Sierras is my 450 uh, bear bag or bear vault and uh, yes I have done exactly what everybody else does I find some kind of sticker now and I stick it on here 
This is part one of uh, two videos and I'll have another one loaded soon.